Hello friends, let's understand the second part of the chapter which is regarding theory of comparative cost in the subject of business economics for semester 6 students. Ricardo theory of comparative cost. Now this was proposed by David Ricardo where he agreed that absolute difference in the cost would give rise to clear reasons why a trade can take place. So according to Ricardo, the essence of international trade is not the absolute difference in cost but a comparative difference which means it is not the difference between the two prices in real values but on comparison how the how the same product is being valued in one country and in the other. So when the comparative difference is seen in the cost and in the quality of the product, the international trade concept happens in a particular country. The next part is it, where we talk about the assumptions. Now very important assumptions in a Ricardian theory are there are two countries which are assumed and only two commodities produced by the two countries. There is perfect competition between the commodity and the factor markets. The cost of production is expressed in terms of labor, which means the commodity is measured in terms of labor hours which are required to produce the product. Labor is the only factor of production and no other natural resources are taken into consideration. You will, we will be assuming that the labor which we take into consideration is homogeneous which means it is identical in efficiency and in quality of products throughout the country. The labor would be perfectly mobile which, which basically indicates that it can, be, it can move or can be transferred from one part of the country to the other but internal mobility will be permitted, external mobility between the countries is not allowed. There will be free trade which interprets there will be no restrictions in terms of quotas, tariffs, customs, etc. when an international trade takes place. The production will be subject to constant return of scale. No technological changes would be observed. The trade between the two countries will take place purely on barter system and not on the monetary basis. And when this trade is happening, full employment would be observed in both the countries and no transportation cost would be taken into consideration. Now let us understand what this theory basically meant. Now on the basis of the above assumptions, David Ricardo has explained the comparative cost difference theory taking the two countries, England and Portugal into consideration and the two commodities produced by both the countries which are wine and cloth. So as you can see in the table, the cost in terms of labor hours is being mentioned for both the countries producing both the commodities. So country England produces one unit of wine and requires 120 labor hours and one unit of cloth requires 100 labor hours. Whereas Portugal requires 80 labor hours to produce one unit of wine and 90 labor hours to produce one unit of cloth. Thank you and keep watching our upcoming session.